Hey everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Albion Prelude. <clears throat> so, as you might have noticed, it has been a uh, a while since my last uh, last episode. People have been asking what's going on. So, uh, the new version was released and as you can see, they actually updated the cockpit model to actually resemble a proper A-Wing. Now, the problem though with that is that my old save file got corrupted. Now, this means that I cannot continue the old Let's Play. Uh, that's why I kind of needed a break because, of course, you know, I put a lot of time into that. Um, and, you know, I, w I wasn't sure what's wh what I needed to do because, um, you know, I wasn't sure if you guys wanted me to, to start over or maybe start a different storyline. So what I'm going to do during this episode is actually change storyline and do the main story where you actually are a fighter from the beginning since some of you actually complain about that it's kind of boring but I myself actually really do like the humble merchant storyline because you start out small and you can grow up to be you know the, this massive uh, empire. So what we are going to do is we are going to quit the game but let me know so let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do the humble merchant um, quest again and then from next episode we'll start that again uh, it should go a lot faster than before because we learned a lot you know I learned that um, even after doing one trade uh, uh, or, or proper trade we have enough money to where I could buy the trade extension computer and actually already let the um, freighter do its trading on its own and then we can immediately start exploring the galaxy um, on our own So, again, here are some of the uh, storylines that there are. And this is the main storyline that, that you uh, you have. You actually will get free ships during this, and it is more combat focused. So if you guys would have uh, would prefer to see this, I will continue this storyline. Skip this. And I'm not very angry about the the the, the new patch um, corrupting my save file. That was something that was uh, mentioned before always that we should expect save files to maybe not work when a new patch comes out. Um, you know, it's not version 1. So, you know. It has now the, this weird thing though where the, the screen freezes for quite a few seconds. It's going to be fi uh, fixed... Uh, in a moment, but currently I cannot move. Argon Flight School. Let's actually uh, boot up the brightness a bit. This is Commander Derek to all members of the Argon Special Task Force 87. I'm transmitting coordinates to your navigational computers. Form up at this location for briefing and assignment. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the... Um, ship that we are flying in is an E-Wing. We currently already have blasters, as you can see. And we have, if we look at our pilot status, we have 30,000 credits. So that's actually quite a lot compared to the the merchant, that is. Because the merchant starts out with, I think, 9,000. But again, that's why I find that so cool, is that you start out so small. Oh. sure where I hear combat well, oh God. it seems you nuggets can at least follow waypoints I'm commander Derek the commanding officer of Argon special task force 87 well I'm sure you all know the challenges we face I want to reiterate our duty in defending the Argon Federation and her allies we are at war with an enemy we all know too well the Terrans our brothers in blood our job is to forget that and just protect our civilians and our territory. Be this on the front line 
escorting freighters, or deploying laser towers at every gate from here to Argon Prime, we will be where we are needed. We will represent the best of what the community of planets has to offer. Not all of you are fighter pilots or trade moguls. We are not all even the same species. And that diversity is what makes us strong in fighting for this common goal. Now, that's enough for the rousing speeches. We've got work to do. Several sectors of the Argon Terran border are in a state of conflict. We have a network of agents on installations throughout these sectors who are offering tasks which need immediate attention. Do your best to help bail these souls out of the Crazola until we contact you for task force duty. Good luck out there, pilots. Show those Terrans what the best of the Commonwealth can do. Alright, so our mission now is aid the war effort. If we look at the universe map, we can see that there are conflict zones over here. With the... Tomahawk heavy missile. Treasure chest being uh, conflict. All ships, this is Argon Command. We are going to retake Circle of Labor. Get to it. Circle of Labor. Let's check that out. Okay, they're going to do an assault on that. No gate. Enduring light. Do I have missiles now? Now, I don't know. I believe this one might actually have a warp drive. Maybe not. Entering system. Enduring light. So you can see now that we actually do have a proper waypoint. Which is easier to do. Um... Can I... Forgot how to draw it. Huh, whatever. Oops. Now basically it works the same here though that where you have money so you can actually in the meantime you can you could dock at like an equipment dock and actually <clears throat> buy supplies for your um your ship. For example, asteroid military outpost. So we could uh try and dock there and see if we could make maybe can uh bulk out our, uh, our ship a little bit. You are talking positive. Please dock as soon as you get green position lights. Again, I didn't really play this, uh, this story mode a whole lot simply because I preferred the sandbox thing, you know, create my own story. And you know, there there have been people. Some shy, for example, says that he he thinks his game is really really boring with just flying around. But that's space. I think a lot of people, you know, when they think about like space adventure, they think about Star Wars. But if you think about it, you know, Star Wars, all the movies only play on a on a few uh, planets that are the same always, which kind of kind of strange. You know, they go to Tatooine all the time, but you know, in reality, the galaxies are so vast that. No, there's a lot of nothing out there. But that's what makes it feel so cool, you know? You're such a small part in this, this large world. Successfully docked. On behalf of our president and senator, the Argon Federation is honored to welcome you aboard. Connection to local trading network established. The triplex scanner increased insufficient credits. Oh, Jesus. A 25. We well, it doesn't really seem like... Yeah.
Yeah, okay. I will undock. I will not really look at the uh, how I can, can correctly upgrade this ship because, like I said, if you guys want me to continue the storyline, we'll do that. Um, or if you want me to go back to the uh, the trading one, then there's no point in me upgrading my ship now. This is just kind of to show you guys the uh, another another story mission. Um, Entering system, Nathan's voyage. It has a lot of freezes with this newest patch. I'm a little worried there. And then in the next video, um, I'll show some screenshots of what's coming up in in the next version because there's some really cool stuff that they show up. Like, I think it's like a. Uh, like some detailed uh, city maps from Bespin, or it might even be Coruscant, with actually like these huge skyscrapers you can fly through. And it looks really, really awesome. But I wonder how far the mod maker will, will, will go, because we are now at 0 0.6, which means that in, in conventional ideas, you know, if you go to version 1, there will be four more updates. You know, but will that then be it? Entering system, black hole sun. Or... Gate, Nathan's voyage. Military outpost. You know, will that be it? Or will he continue to... Um... Create more, uh, more vehicles. I mean, you could even look at some of the architecture of... The Force Awakens. Or not architecture of, uh, of the, the ship design. That Imperial shuttle that Kylo Ren has. So, through this gate, we will get into the first conflict zone. Now, they say they were going to try and take uh, the light one. So, we might want to try and get through and get over there. I don't know if, if they actually plan to overtake treasure chest. Now again, there is a possibility that I could have used the, the, the warp drive. I forgot what it was though. <laughs> if we continue this, this system, uh, treasure quest, chest. I will actually look up how to do that. The war has taken some bad turns. Our stations won't last long without backup. Fend the Terrans off in treasure chest. You have your orders. Oh, okay. Get it done. We got our orders. There's the Millennium Falcon ish. Whoa, what is that? Goner. Terran, Tokyo. To what? Tokyo? Uh, I need some backup though. Okay, there here's some fighting going on. Terran. Okay, it's an interceptor. No aim. Okay, got destroyed. Terran, Tokyo. No, not fuck off with your Tokyo. Or mine, L Alpha. I'm not getting the. Gate, black hole it's sun. too far. Seems like a very fast fighter, though. Might be another interceptor. Terran. Yep. No gate, okay. black hole got sun. Destroyed. Again, I need some protection, though. What are these ships? 
are gone. They're A X wings. Do they have the? Oh, look at that! They have R two in there. It's a nice little detail they added. Asteroid. It looks like a clone ship over there. Oh. Teron. No, Osaka. Not. Osaka. What's with all the Japanese names? I'm not able to attack that because of the Tokyo. Teron, Wait. Tokyo. Are they assaulting it? Teron. Tokyo. Guess we are. All right, let's go. This is such a bad idea. Target oh, is now in firing range. Yep, we're gonna, we're gone. Ooh. Target left firing range. It's fine. <clears throat> let's actually just find a fighter. Yeah, there we go. Terran Katana. What the fuck is that? Is now in oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I need help. Lost my shields. Target left firing range. You see how how quick you die? I lost half my HP there. There's a Mon Calamari cruiser. Shit, I'm getting shot at. Get in range of our... Oh, wow. That Osaka no ship aim. is pretty heavily damaged. Come on, baby. I need to kind of get out of my uh, vehicle to repair it, but... kind of worried. Argon, rapid response. Okay, I'm gonna go get out. Gonna repair. There we go. The shield is going back. Not too sure. The cruiser just changed direction. I hope it's gonna attack it now. A lot of ships of our side coming in. Not in firing range. Actually, it's not even targeted. Uh oh. Tehran, Osaka. So it begins. Target is now in firing range. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Target left firing range. Again, do you see how we got... But then again, I am picking my opponents wrong. Like, I should I should be fighting TIE Interceptors and that sort of shit. Not these big ones, but there are no... Small ones currently. Oh, Jesus. Still got all my HP. Oh, there all the rockets go. Whoa! Oh, Jesus! Okay, so, people, let me know if you would rather want me to do, like, this kind of storyline or uh, go back to... Uh, to the trading one. Now, if I go to back to the trading one, it doesn't mean that there's no combat. It's just going to take a while. You know, here you are part of the conflict already, whereas in the trading, you first, of course, gotta get more powerful, so it's gonna take a while. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for, um, watching. Uh, sorry for the, uh, the, the, the late video upload, but I hope you guys understand with the, with the new patch. I mean, hell, there's even...
you know, another risk for, for this happening again. Um, so, you know, please uh, be, uh, be aware that that might happen. Anyway, thank you for, uh, for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.